Number 10 is uh, Frappin Ch uh, Chateau de Fonpino. The, the Frappin family owns the largest amount of vineyard space in the highest rated demarcated district of Cognac, Grand Champagne. Grand Champagne is up on a promontory. It's very hilly, but most of it's up on a promontory. And the, the whole idea is that the, the soil of Grand Champagne is so chalky that it, it's very, it has very good drainage for the vines. And there's another layer of chalk right under that, that first layer, that acts as a sponge. And it just keeps absorbing, it's a little bit thicker, and it keeps absorbing all the moisture so that all the way through the growing season, even if it's a dry season, there's always moisture for the grapes because of the second layer, a very spongy. Uh, actually, uh, I saw once when I was in uh, Cognac, somebody was digging down. And as, as we were looking through the different strata of chalk, the, the second layer was absolutely wet. It was damp. And that's, that's the layer that absorbs all the moisture from rain and dew. And it keeps feeding the vines. Uh, Grand Champagne cognacs are the longest lived by far. Uh, any Grand Champagne that has not seen at least 10 years of oak is considered a baby. Uh, it just has that constitution. It has that uh, chemical makeup so that it absolutely demands time in oak, either limousin or trance, one or the other. Uh, so this, uh, boy, here's to you. I mean, this, is, this was no surprise to me. I saw this entered, and I just figured it's going to be in the finalists, definitely, because it's just one of the great, one of the great spirits that you could find. Uh, sorry, but I just, I just got to do this. Uh,